Using paint is one of the best ways to give your house a new look. You can paint literally everything and change the way it looks. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and these are 35 easy ways to paint everything you have. 1. Prada-inspired tote makeover Freshening the look of your favorite summer straw bag. You will need a straw bag, some black paint, black pom-poms, and a hot glue gun. Dust off dirt. Your bag should be very clean before painting. Use black paint to paint your bag. Let it dry and repeat the process two to three times until the entire surface of the straw is covered. Lay out the black pom-poms first before gluing them on the bag. Cut away the hot glue strings and now you have a very cute summer tote. 2. Appliance painting. Match an old dryer with a new washer. You will need a can of Rust Oleum Appliance Epoxy, which can be purchased at your local hardware store, sandpaper, newspaper, and painter's tape. Cover the parts of the dryer you will not paint with newspaper and painter's tape. Sand and clean the dryer with soapy water and dry. Making sure that you are painting in a place with good ventilation, Shake the epoxy can for about a minute or two and start spraying with back and forth motions across the surface. After the paint has completely dried, apply the second coat of paint. Let it dry completely. Now your dryer looks brand new and completely matches your new washer. 3. Wicker Storage Baskets – The Dipped Treatment You will need masking tape, paintbrush, and white emulsion paint. Wrap some masking tape around the wicker basket one or two inches above the bottom section. Apply two or three light coats of paint from the bottom section of the basket to the masking tape. Fully wiggle in the brush to get into the gaps. Spray paint can also be used and it will achieve the same effect. Use these cute dipped whisker baskets for storing throws, fabrics, magazines, or even use them as planters. 4. A Nautical Foyer – Painting Stripes on the Wall You will need some frog tape, the paint of your choice for the base, and a paint of your choice for the stripes. Then do all the careful measuring and leveling on the wall by putting frog tape for the stripes. Press the frog tape really well. Start painting your stripes. Remove the tape when it dries. 5. New Bathroom Faucet a fresh look for an outdated faucet. You will need Rust Oleum's Painter's Touch Ultra Cover Paint in a metallic color of your choice and a primer. Tape off the sides of the faucet. Start painting. You'll probably use around three coats of paint to achieve the desired effect. Use cotton buds to paint some hard to reach areas. Let it dry. The drying process will take about days. Remove the tape. Use the chiseled end of a wooden kebab stick to scrape the extra paint off. 6. Painting Laminate Furniture – Transforming a Curbside Find into a Showpiece Stunner You will need sandpaper or orbital sander, paintbrush or small roller, high-quality primer, and paint of your choice. Lightly sand the entire surface of the dresser. Wipe off dust with a dry rag. Take apart the furniture as necessary before you start painting. Paint one coat of primer and let dry. Paint two coats of paint, allowing it to dry in between. You can use a roller for large areas and a brush to get corners and edges. When it's dry, put everything back together. 7. Saddle Shoes DIY Painting Project You will need white canvas sneakers, large and small paint brushes, paint dish, and acrylic paint, your color choice. Shake acrylic paint and squeeze a good dollop on a paint dish. Use your brush to paint the big side panels and backs of your canvas shoes. Avoid painting on the edge of the seams and metal shoelace grommets. Let the paint from the first coat dry for 30 minutes. Apply a second or third coat as needed, drying them for about 30 minutes in between. Allow the paint to cure for two to three hours and you're done. 8. Doormat Elegance DIY Monogram You will need a doormat from IKEA or other home stores, blue painter's tape, 
and black truck bed coating spray. Cover the entire mat with blue painter's tape. Create a stencil using a sharp stenciling knife. Position it in the middle of the mat. Spray on coating spray. Let dry and remove the tape. 9. Plain Wooden Stool Makeover – A Great Graphic Design You will need a wooden stool, painter's tape, paint, medium grit sandpaper, tack cloth, and a clear spray sealer. Sand the stool so that the paint will stick to it better. Wipe and remove all the fine dust from the sanding using a damp cloth. Use tape to design your stool. Paint the stool using your preferred paint. Allow the paint to completely dry and remove the painter's tape. 10. DIY Fun Hopscotch Game – Painting a Plain Rug for Your Kids You will need a 6x8 plain area rug, flat paint, textile medium, paint roller and tray, yardstick, chalk, 15 by 15 inch square template, hand paintbrush, fabric, white glue, and number templates. Mix up the paint with the textile medium. It should be three parts paint and three to four tablespoons of water for every cup of paint. Roll the paint onto the rug. Dry the paint completely, which usually takes 12 to 24 hours. Draw the hopscotch on the rug. Use a yardstick to find the vertical center of the rug. Use the chalk as little place markers. Draw the lines for squares and finish off with a semicircle on top. Paint the lines for the hopscotch using a hand brush. Place the number templates on each hopscotch square, making sure that they fit. Trace the numbers backwards on the back of the fabric and use chalk to trace. Cut out the fabric numbers. Paint the back of the fabric with white glue. Place the fabric on the rug in the correct position. Place a piece of parchment on top of the fabric. Weigh down the parchment with something heavy like big books in order to make it sturdier. Remove the weights after some time. 11. Painting Designs of Plain Wood Boxes – Storage Flare You will need acrylic paint, patterning tape, white spray paint, and a wooden box. Tape your box with your preferred design. Be creative with your patterns. When all the shapes are taped off, you can start painting. This needs about two coats of paint. Let the paint dry. Peel off all the tape. Now you have a cute office or home storage box. 12. Old-timey painted sign – welcoming party guests with a cute hand-painted design. You will need packs of stencil masks with the letters of the alphabet, stencil graphic designs, plain wooden board, acrylic paint, and brush. Peel the letters and designs from the plastic backing of the stencil set and arrange your letters according to your desired message. Press them on top of the wooden board in the precise place where you want them to be. Paint over the top using acrylic paint. Peel the letters from the cutting board. You may need a craft knife to lift the edge. Wipe the letters with a damp cloth and return to the plastic backing. 13. Linoleum Tile Floor Facelift – Covering it with Paint You will need floor latex enamel paint, interior primer, paint rollers, paint trays, painter's tape, and floor cleaning solution. Make sure that your floor area has been cleared and is clean. Prime the floor and let it dry overnight. Paint the vinyl floor with your base color and let it dry. Tape off stripes using painter's tape. Add one more coat of the base paint to the entire floor, even over the tape. That will prevent bleeding. Paint the stripes with the secondary color. Let dry and apply a second coat. When the stripes are dry, remove the tape. 14. Updated Metal File Cabinet – DIY Craft Storage Unit You will need fine grit sandpaper, screwdriver, painter's tape, small roller, small angled brush, latex-based primer, chalkboard paint, white paint for borders, paint color of your choice, and polyurethane sealant spray. Remove the hardware from the file cabinet. 
prying off the card holders with a screwdriver and unscrewing the pulls from the back using a socket. Sand the filing cabinet. Clean it well. Apply a coat of primer, paint everything white, and then use painter's tape to apply your desired design. Apply chalkboard paint on the side. Paint and seal hardware. Use a small paintbrush to touch up any imperfections. 15. Make your front door stand out. Apply a fresh coat of paint. You will need front door paint, paintbrush, sandpaper, and primer. Sand your front door. Remove dust and other grime that has accumulated throughout the years. Apply a coat of primer on the door. Let it dry. Paint your door with the front door paint color of your choice. Let it dry overnight. Apply a second coat of paint. Let it dry. 16. Transforming Brick Garage Walls DIY Guide You will need a wire scrub brush, paint brush, paint roller, masonry or latex paint, latex primer, drop cloths, and painter's tape. Prep well by thoroughly cleaning the brick area. Tape off any areas that you don't plan to paint. Begin by applying a latex primer to the brick. Let the primer dry completely. When the brick surface is completely dry, apply a paint specifically formulated for masonry. Apply a second coat if necessary. 17. Spice up a boring upholstered chair, painting a lively new pattern. You'll need an old fabric chair, foam brush and foam pouncer, fabric paint and gold spray paint. Unscrew the peg legs off and spray paint them gold. Let them dry and reattach them. Remove the seat cushion and paint the rest of the chair with preferred color with the seat cushion removed. Use another color to paint the pre-planned pattern. Let the paint dry and reinstall the seat cushion. 18. Update plain old wooden furniture, DIY wood furniture makeover. You will need cleaning materials, 120 grit sandpaper or a sander. Clean your old furniture. Quickly sand your wooden chair, table, or bed. Remember to be gentle as you sand. Use a paintbrush or a roller to apply an even coat of primer. When the primer has completely dried, lightly sand it again. This is essential if you want a good finish. Apply an even coat of paint all over the furniture. 19. Brand new concrete garage floor. Transforming a stained floor with specially formulated paint. You will need garage floor cleaning implements, concrete mortar repair compound as needed, bonding primer, one part epoxy paint. Clean and prep the concrete floor. If you have access to it, using a pressure washer or floor buffing machine is best. If you don't have it, just use a stiff bristled scrubbing brush. Fill in any cracks on the concrete if you need to. Apply a bonding primer. Let it sit for at least four hours before applying your paint. Apply the one part epoxy paint. Let dry and apply the second coat. 20. Plain felt into adorable coasters, a simple painting technique that you can do yourself. You will need three millimeter thick felt fabric, opaque fabric block printing ink, dish, paintbrush, pencil with a rubber end, marker, pencil, scissors, and ruler. Use a pencil to trace a hexagon shape around the felt. Carefully cut around the shape. Squeeze a pea-sized amount of ink into the dish. Use your paintbrush to spread it out into a smooth, thin layer. Use the rubber end of a pencil to dip in the ink and print onto the shape, starting at the top and working your way to the bottom. Dry your print. Use an iron to set the ink onto the fabric. 21. Repainting a KitchenAid Mixer, a quick makeover. You will need a KitchenAid stand mixer, 120 grit sanding block, spray paint, frog tape, glossy enamel spray paint, screwdriver, and an X-Acto knife. Thoroughly clean your KitchenAid using a mild cleanser or a damp paper towel. Unscrew the removable mixer parts. Cover the remaining metal plates and wires with some frog tape. Use an X-Acto knife to cut around the edges of the screw and remove the excess tape. 
Use a 120 grit sanding block to quickly rough up the mixer surface, being careful not to rip off the frog tape. Make sure it is matte and chalky enough to be painted on. Wipe the surface with a wet cloth and use your favorite shade of paint to paint over the mixer. Let dry and apply a second coat as needed. 22. Chic Wall Stencil, creating a fake wallpaper look. You will need your desired printed pattern, stencil film, a cutting board, and an X-Acto knife, your desired paint color. Print, draw, or scan your desired pattern on a sheet of paper. Put them together and trace the pattern on to the stencil film. Place the stencil on a cutting board and using an X-Acto knife, cut your pattern, using your template paper as a guide. Place the stencil pattern over the wall and paint over it to get the desired fake wallpaper look. 23. Tile Shower Makeover Using Specially Formulated Tile Paint You will need tub and tile paint, tile cleaning supplies, abrasive pad, 400 grit sandpaper, safety glasses and gloves, painter's tape, brushes, rollers, and paint tray and liners. You will also need tools to remove caulk and grout. Remove all the caulk from the areas you will be painting. If you have cracked grout, you need to replace them first before starting the project. Clean your tub, shower, and tile area thoroughly. Tape off the shower with painter's tape. Mix the two-part epoxy paint. Once the paint is mixed, start painting the tile area. Let it dry. 24. Repainting a thrift store lamp, a chic new design. You will need various colors of acrylic paints and paint brushes. Choose the shade you prefer for your lamp base and apply the paint, thinning it out a little with water. Clean the shade very well. Apply your first coat of paint, let it dry. As needed, you may choose to apply a second coat of paint. Let it dry and voila, you have a brand new looking lamp. 25. Resurrecting Plain Serving Bowls Using Acrylic Paint and Adhesive Stencils You will need adhesive stencils, acrylic paint, daubers, and plain serving bowls. Stick on the stencil design of your choice on the plain bowls. Use a dauber to dab on acrylic paint within the stencil design. Remove the stencil. Repeat the same step around the circumference of the bowl. 26. Updating a Cast-Off Wicker Bench DIY transformation using paint and rope. You will need white paint, paintbrush, and decorative trim in your preferred color. Paint the entire wicker bench white. Let it dry. Apply a second coat as needed. Take the decorative trim and weave it around the wicker bench. Be creative in weaving your preferred design. Before snipping off the excess rope, put tape on the ends before snipping. 27. Drop Cloth Rug Design – DIY Design Using Painter's Tape You will need fabric paint, spray adhesive, painter's tape, and a 6 by 9 foot drop cloth rug. You may choose to pre-wash your cloth rug with some borax to make it brighter. When it's dry, iron until there isn't a wrinkle in sight. Decide where you will fold your drop cloth and spray the adhesive. Fold it over onto itself, making sure it doesn't wrinkle. Slowly press together inwards. Iron the drop cloth to ensure that there are no wrinkles. Sew the edges together. Create a pattern using painter's tape. Make sure that the tape is really stuck on the fabric by rubbing it thoroughly. Once the design is taped on the fabric, start painting. Apply two coats of paint, peel off the tape, and dry. 28. Beautiful Striped Curtains Using a Paint Sprayer You will need spray paint, 12-inch masking paper, painting tape, and a mask. Tape the top section of the curtain first, and then making sure the stripes are straight and aligned, continue taping and placing the masking paper, running down the vertical length of the curtain. Make sure the tape is pushed down firmly. It's time to paint. For maximum effect, apply two coats of paint with lots of drying time in between. Make sure you protect yourself with a mask because this type of paint should not be inhaled. Pull off the paper when the paint is dry and you will see perfect stripes. 29. Bathroom Vanity Stunner 
using a coat of bright white paint. You will need a tub and tile paint, sandpaper, and a paintbrush. Thoroughly clean your bathroom vanity. Gently sand the tile surface. Apply two coats of tile paint, leaving sufficient time to dry in between coatings. Let dry. Use a small brush to paint over edges and hard to reach corners. 30. Batmobile Transformation – Painting Your Kid's Toy Car You will need an old toy car, black spray paint, Batman logo shape, spray paint stencil, and yellow paint. Use black spray paint on a plastic toy car. The paint readily sticks to the plastic even without priming. Let it dry. Cut out a Batman logo shape. Use the inverse outline as a spray paint stencil. Tape the inverse outline on the side of the car. Paint the Batman logo with yellow paint. 31. Freshening up a tired porch swing using a fresh coat of paint and an appropriate logo. You will need sandpaper, cleaning materials, paint sprayer, foam brush, and your preferred paint color. Clean your porch swing. Sand it and clean it some more. In order to stencil a phrase, Remove two of the back slats of the swing. Decide on your special message and cut out and measure chipboard letters to fit into the slats of the swing. Use a paint sprayer to coat the entire swing set with your preferred color. Use a foam brush to fix the nooks and crannies. Arrange the chipboard letters into the slat and outline it with a pencil. Fill each letter in using white paint. Put the slats back in place and your new porch swing is complete! 32. Matching the odd set of chairs with a dining table – DIY Paint Rehab You will need chemical stripper, plastic scraper, foam brushes, medium grit sand wedge, drop cloth, primer, preferred paint, and protective finish in clear gloss. Clean the surface and use a chemical stripper. Follow the instructions on the chemical stripper. Leave on for 30 minutes. Remove the paint. Prime. Paint a light coat on the surface and dry for 24 hours. Paint the table and chairs. Use your discretion on how many coatings you need. Wait at least 24 hours between each coat. 33. Make a graphic throw pillow using a stencil and special paint. Apply the stencil to the pillowcase. Add water slightly to dilute the fabric paint by 20%. Shake and stir. Dab paint onto pillowcase until the surface is evenly painted. Allow it to dry. Slowly peel the stencil off the pillowcase. Lightly sand the pillowcase with 400 grit sandpaper. Brush clear wax onto the pillowcase. Buff excess wax into the pillowcase with a clean rag. Insert the pillowcase fill. 34. Dot hand-painted wine glasses using puffy fabric paint. You will need 3D opaque glass paints, wine glasses, scrapbooking stickers, and an X-Acto knife. Use scrapbook stickers to spell out the word cheers on your wine glass. Use the 3D glass paints to make dots all around the letters. Use two metallic colors to make it classier. Using an X-Acto knife to peel off the stickers, outlining the word cheers. Think of other decorating ideas to make this a truly festive set of glasses, ideal for gift giving. 35. Metallic Mini Terracotta Pots – Patterned Pizzazz with Spray Paint You will need three terracotta pots – gold spray paint, white spray paint, painter's tape, dot stickers, and three cactus plants. Begin by spray painting the pots. Use the painter's tape in your preferred patterns. Spray paint your pots over the tape. Gently peel off the painter's tape to expose the final patterns. Place a little cactus plant into the newly decorated pots. So pretty! And that's all for now. For more DIY hacks and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.